Hey friends, today I am at Icon Park on International Drive and I'm gonna go to Madame Tussauds and also the Orlando Sea Life Aquarium. All this started because my friend Brian over at Orlando Theme Park 360 tweeted how cool would it be if vloggers vlog things their viewers picked. So I was tagged in that Twitter post and then the theme park kid tagged me to go to Madame Tussauds. So here I am. Madame Tussauds seen the tweet and they were like, come on out. So let's go do this. And just look at that. Unbelievable. So we are gonna go to Madame Tussauds that's on the left and then the Orlando Sea Life Aquarium that's on the right. Should be very fun. I, I have done the Orlando Eye before but this is my first time at Madame Tussauds and Sea Life so this is gonna be fun. And look at this place. Sorry it's probably super loud in here but they have a sausage shack which is pretty awesome and a 7D dark ride adventure. That looks interesting. But let's be serious, I'm way more interested in a sausage shack. I think we're gonna do Madame Tussauds first and then do Sea Life, but I do wanna point out something that's pretty interesting because if you plan on coming down to Florida and you wanna to go to Legoland and plus some of these cool attractions, they do have an awesomer pass which basically includes all of these. That's awesome, even the Legoland in Atlanta and it's only $149 compared to paying $40 just to go to these two attractions and Legoland which is like a $90 ticket you literally save money. If you planned on doing all three of these, you buy a pass, you have it for a whole year, and you save money. I'm really not sure how to interact with wax figures, but I'm gonna try my best. And I'm gonna have fun. Isn't that right, Madonna? All right, let's let this journey begin. Oh, look at, hey. I feel special walking in here, the VIP entrance. Hey! Wow, you first walk in and Pitbull greets you and it sounds like a nightclub in here. But wow, look at that. That hat is phenomenal. Yep, we're hat twinsies. I like it a lot. Wow, the walls in here are themed so nicely. And we want you. Oh wow, look at that finger that face. I think we just stumbled upon the dreamer room because you have Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream and then you have Walt Disney himself one man's dream. Seriously though Walt Disney looks fantastic. So does Martin Luther King Jr. They both look fantastic. This is literally the room for dreamers. Awesome. I'll tell you what, it's hard to top a room like that. I mean, a room dedicated to unique dreamers. You're gonna need some brain power to come up with something better than that. Ho ho ho! Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison. Pretty awesome. What you holding there? Is it a light bulb? Never knew Albert Einstein was this short. I feel comfortable when I'm taller than somebody. I got like three inches on them. Look at this, they have props here actually. Okay, this is a whole new level. I don't know who's been wearing these, so I'm keeping the hat on, but I don't think it matches. I just kind of look like a silly bird. Look at Steve Jobs. That is impressive. Seriously, so lifelike, isn't it? Let's just pay attention to the beard because that is probably the most unique. Look at that. That is paying attention to detail. If this was an actual person, I bet you they'd feel very uncomfortable the way that I'm just pushing my camera up on their beard. And here is Madame Maria Tussaud herself making some wonderful wax figurines. Oh, that guy's bald, it could be me. Huh. 
That could be me too. Wow, this is kind of scary, but this is what is the skeleton to the wax figurines. Look at this. Wow, this could be something in a nightmare. It looks like Doc Ock from Spider-Man almost. You can actually get a little waxing dump while you're here. $15 it costs. Does it dry quick? Um, pretty relatively quick, yeah. Wow. Look at all those wax hands back there. Oh, look at that Spider-Man. He's got his hands in like the web shooter. Miles Morales. Yeah, Miles Morales. Look at that. These are both my hands. Oh, very nice. Very good, sir. Being Spider-Man. Ah. I guess we've made it over to the sports section because we got Dale Earnhardt Jr. here and Muhammad Ali. Look at this. Impressive. That stance. You can actually dress up in proper boxing attire and maybe go round and round with this guy. I don't think you'll win. Or maybe you will because it is a wax figurine. I'm only kidding. Don't actually hit the wax figurines. That will not end good. I bet you're wondering where I learned those sweet moves. Well, it was from watching Muhammad Ali Shadow. <laughs> there are so many cool props. You can even shoot some hoops with Shaq. Look at this. I'm going to show you my skill. Thank you. That's kind of fancy too because they have original seats from the old Yankee Stadium. 1923 to 1973. One, two, three, and four. Very fancy. Oh, we're into the music, and we got Taylor Swift here, but the thing that caught my eye about Taylor Swift was how blingy her guitar is. Look at that. Look at this guy. Pharrell Williams, and, ooh, you can try one of his hats. Wow, so much is happening in this room right now. Ricky Martin, Lady Gaga, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber. Is that Michael Jackson? It is Michael. Look at the detail of the outfit. It's fantastic. Look at who he's grabbing his chest. I'm gonna try to do the Michael Jackson hat trick. That didn't work good. No, wait, one more time. Here we go. Oh, wait, I got this. From music to TV and film, Sophie Vigara and Jim Parsons. Look at this. A Big Bang Theory. Yeah. But now I'm getting excited because we're heading into LexCorp. And I've seen the DC logo, so I know what's coming up here. Wow, this is awesome. Breaking news out of Metropolis. An explosion at LexCorp's central computer facility has caused a citywide technological disruption. This is Batman. Batman? One of his experiments has taken over the city's technological infrastructure. I'm sending all the old members to Justice League. We need your help to defeat Lex. Is this door gonna fancy open up here? Oh, I might have to hit the button. Whoa, the flash. This is definitely the best theme. Wow. Seriously, just everything in here is so well put together. I love it. Oh, oh, Superman around the corner. Alert, alert. Is that mysterious man in the shadows over there? It's Batman. Oh! <laughs> All you had to do was give him a little call. Touch 
to the Trident. If you give me the honor, I would like to touch your Trident. Excuse me, do you mind if I join you? I have an idea. How about we stare off into nothing and dream about the most beautiful things? I've got chills, they're multiplying. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a T-bird. And here is my opportunity. To be a pink lady. What are the pink ladies? <laughs> you deserve this. Wow. This is a room I could definitely hang out at. So many great opportunities. Leonardo DiCaprio himself to make each day count. Hear, hear. One of my favorite actors of all time. Honestly, can I go wrong? Pretty awesome. Tom Hanks, thank you so much. I'm starting to get a little gray hair, but it's okay. I still love you. I had a blast in there. It's actually so much fun to interact with the different wax figurines and just do silly stuff. Just have fun. So now we're gonna head over to Sea Life and check out some cool fish. I am super excited. I love aquariums, I love fishes, I love the water. And to have these right next to each other, this is a fun-filled day. Wow, the first room is amazing. What? Look, I, I thought this was fake when I first walked in. Unbelievable. Look at that puffer fish. Did I just scare it when I went in there? I think so. That is awesome. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Soren. <laughs> Look at that. If you guys ever been to Universal Studios, Cowfish, which is one of their restaurants on City Walk, this is an actual cowfish. I've never seen one before. For some reason, the tanks look like screens to me, but look at these jellyfishes. Unbelievable. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Ooh. Welcome to the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, look at this. That is an octopus. So crazy, look at those suckers. This aquarium is so well themed, and that octopus display is fantastic. Honestly, I've never actually seen an active octopus like that before. So it was really interesting. They actually have a show where they uh, put a little toy submarine and it plays with it, and that's at two o'clock every day. We missed that, but it's still probably pretty awesome to check out. Oh, we've got sharks and other big fish actually in this huge tank. Oh, look at. Look at the statues on the inside. And that's a hand. This is kind of interesting. You see all these tiny fish? They're like about that big. Well, if you skip over here, it's kind of like a magnifier and actually makes the fishes look huge. <laughs> look at that. That fish is actually only like this big. Oh, man. Look at this pretty area in here. Reminds me of Coco. Remember me. <laughs> wow, so pretty in here actually. Ready? Look at these gigantic salamanders. Ready? Wow. They are monsters. <laughs> I wish I caught those when I was a kid. And they have the ability to actually regrow their limbs. 
That's an awesome trait. I wish that could happen for me. Well, I'm just an upside down fish spinning around in a circle, doing my thing. They got a secret tunnel. They do do kind of like a behind the scenes tour and it only costs $15 and they actually take you to the second level and you can actually look down in the tanks and you get to see it at a whole different angle and they show you different feedings and different ways they prep the food. So I would suggest that. We can't do it today because they're already closing up shop but if I was here earlier I would have done it. But check it out. Surround it by fish, sharks, and a bunch of water. I'd be more afraid of the water coming down. Oh, there's a shark. There's one. I'm very happy that we're friends, not food. I want to go where the fish are. I want to see, want to see them swimming. One fish, two fish, red fish, Bluefish. Stingray. Look at that turtle just doing its turtle thing. Peeking in and out. Yes, you're a turtle. Yes, you are. Hi. Hi, turtle. Watch out, you're gonna bump the fish. Where are you going? <laughs> Did you say I can touch things? You can, you just have to rinse your hands off first. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll take that one for you. Oh, wait. These guys have gone all the way up in the last Oh. So yeah, do you guys want to touch the anemones? You can touch them right on the outside or on the tentacles. Just don't poke them in the middle. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that kind of feels very nice. <laughs> if you touch more on the body cavity, you can feel them a little bit more. Oh man. Yeah, these guys are about 95% water. And they're also very closely related to jellyfish, so if you ever wondered what a jellyfish felt like, that's kind of what they feel like. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh and I'm gonna pet a starfish. Wow. Hello, little starfish. Nice to meet you. And you too. Yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But these guys, you cannot touch them. And that's gonna do it for me. Lots of fun inside there. They have a bunch of different activities for the kids that they can actually play with as you go about the aquarium. I just didn't pay any attention to them. Maybe I should have, but I wanted to play with the fishes. So, I hope you guys had a lot of fun and love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. And now, sausage.